is CBBC Mashup. We need you. Who? Yeah, Yeah, them. Go to our website and get creative. Mix it, move it, mash it. Make it and remix it all over again. Create your very own CBBC logo movie. You've mashed it, now mail it. How good is that? Oh, lovely. Yeah, lovely. So get on the CBBC website, click on Create and get a Welcome back to the CBBC office. You join us on the most exciting Sunday morning ever. Not only have we got part two of the Backshall and Barrowman Marathon later from 11, starting with Deadly 60, but also, let me introduce to you, ladies and gentlemen, the new weekend presenters, Chloe and London. <laughs> Hello, I'm Chloe. And I'm London. Yeah, me and Dodge are just showing them the ropes. <laughs> These are the ropes. Did we really have to do that, mate? Oh, look, Hacker told me it's a funny joke. He said I'd get a laugh. Don't listen to Hacker. Seriously, what does he know about jokes? <laughs> Honestly, guys, we, like, totally expected better jokes than that. Oh, yeah, that was so lame. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. This is a complicated job, isn't it, Dodge? No, it isn't. You just sit in that chair and then you wabble on and then you look down that camera and then you say things about stuff and things. Uh, no, it's much more difficult than that. Is it? No, 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 it doesn't. So anyway, you start next weekend. Oh, no, 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 we're going to start right now, actually. Ooh, masterful. Ooh, yes. God, it's, it's a Chris and Dodge weekend. It's Chris mm, and Dodge. Not anymore. No. So uh, if you just shut the door on the way out, love, that'd be great. Thank oh, oh, you. Oh, 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 we're on the telly. Mm. OK, well, come on, Dodge. Uh, I'm staying here, mate. <laughs> uh, no, you're not. Bye bye. Wait, 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 I've got an idea, I've got an idea. If I bring some popcorn for the marathon, can I stay, oh, eh? Yeah. Can I stay? Mm. Get popcorn? Um, can I stay? Um, stay, 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 No! What? Bye. Yeah. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh well. Brilliant! <laughs> We're in charge now. Yeah. Check us on TV, working in perfect harmony. This is a chair wrap featuring Ian and Hacker the Dog. Hello! Get your bums on your seats. Chair goes up, chair goes down. Chair goes mainly round and around. Pop. Chair goes up, chair goes down. Chair goes mainly round and around. Check Whoa, it. Chair goes up, chair goes down. Pop. Chair goes mainly round and around. Chair goes up, chair goes down. Chair goes mainly round and around. Take it away! Chair goes up. Chair goes down, chair goes mainly around and around. Huh. I got my chair from out of town. Where? I got my chair from a scrap heap now. Oh, yeah. Yo, yo, let's be specific. Huh. My chair is pretty terrific. Ooh. Three foot high, one foot wide. What? Got no arms Where? on the, the sides. Side. Yeah. Yeah, chair huh. up. Woo! Oh, Ian. <laughs> huh. Chair goes up, chair goes down. Chair goes mainly round and around and round 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 <laughs> Some of that was wrong, Ian. He didn't come on quick enough. Oh, oh, oh. Time now for some how to be epic at everything. And then later on, brand you blow your mind. Today, Chris and Xander are looking at animals that emote and behave like humans. Uh, speaking of which, Hacker, why, why are you crying, mate? It's Dave Lime, Chris! Oh, the pep! He's gone missing. I'm sure he'll be around here somewhere, man. Well, I've looked everywhere, Chris. All that's left of him is this little tiny purple shoe, Chris. He's probably just gone for a walk. You don't know that. Music. What? Please. My friend, Dave John Lime, he's gone missing in his prime. But where to? We don't know. Maybe he's got lost in the snow. 
summertime. So no! The poor little soul. Little shoe joke for you, little yeah, soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wife is trapped down a hole. Rhymes with soul. Oh, I've been caught by a shark. That lurks, bites, swings. Don't park. Is that a thing? Yeah. Oh, Dave Lime, I shall miss you. If you return, I shall kiss you. But once we're apart, don't worry, cocker. I'll look after your tart. His what? It's tart because I've made him a lime tart. Oh. Oh, yeah, as well. Oh, yeah. lovely, that. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> he loved lime tarts, Chris, so I made him that. I made him that out of a lime I just found lying around. Let me get this straight. You haven't seen Dave Lime in a while. No, he's got missing Chris. On the same day, you, you make him a lime tart. Uh, yeah, out of a, a lime I found lying around. <laughs> it had a face on, Chris. The lime had a face? Yeah, monobrow, yeah. A little shirt? A Hawaiian shirt, yeah. Mm. One shoe. Mm. And you don't know where Dave's gone? No. <laughs> the lime I used, funny enough, <laughs> was called Dave. <laughs> well, I just sliced him up and chucked him in the pie, Chris. <laughs> Ooh. It's hard to be able to get everything. I've got heartburn, Chris. I'm not telling you. <laughs> London, what on earth are you doing? I'm just chilling with. With my boyfriend, why are you jealous? You're jealous, Chloe. Your new boyfriend is made out of cardboard, so, uh, uh no. <laughs> Seriously, your obsession with this dude from Blue Peter is getting way out of hand. I don't really know what you're talking about, Chloe, and I'm not feeling all this negative energy you're giving out. It's not good, it's not good vibes. Me and Andy, me and Andy, Andy and I, we're fine, OK? Later, I'm going to make him breakfast and I'm going to do his hair. Right, right, and then what's he going to do for you? Let, let, let me chill out with him, just hang out. Seriously, London, there's a thing or two you need to learn about relationships. Relationships should be about give and take, you know, doing things for each other. Us women need to stick together. We need to think like our guru, Beyonce, and be proud, independent women. We need men who are thoughtful of our needs. Men that aren't afraid to say, TV's Chloe Bear and London News, you are goddesses. Who are you? Um, our names are Chloe in London. Yeah, 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 whatever. Look, come with me, I've got something for you. <laughs> I'd rather stay single than date that. <laughs> what is it? You, madam, are coming for a jacuzzi. You know, one of those lovely bubble bath things. Oh, Dodge, yeah. thanks. Yeah, yeah, look, I've just loads of beans. And as long as we're sitting in the same puddle when I start to trump, <laughs> it'll work a treat. Come with me, am I good to you or what? <laughs> yes, Dodge. <laughs> Get it on, get it on. Brand new Blow Your Mind is coming up in just a sec today. They're looking at chimps who can lie, dolphins who can cry for help, and hopefully dogs that get chirpy all of yes. a sudden. What's happened with you, man? I'm so chirpy, Chris. Do you know why? Why? My friend Dave Lime's come back. What? <laughs> yeah. How? I mean, there, there was there was a lime tart, and he, and you, and then how? No, he's been away, Chris. And I shall explain his whereabouts by the medium O oh, song. Hit it. Oh, silly Dave, Lime, he went missing for some time. He fast. tried to walk to Timbuktu, but didn't get far with just one shoe. He found a man named Pete who had big blisters on his feet. So they jumped aboard a boat and had a lunch with a goat or something. Oh, then he said, you've got to get back to Hacker because the dog is going crackers. So back to the office he came. Stop cutting the cameras. And like an elegant great dame, Oh, silly David Lime, he's back, Cocker. Stop the music, it's far too fast. I knew it wouldn't work. I told you it was too fast, and you insisted I did it. Thoughts? Action. Dave, what have mm. you got to say for yourself? Emotional stuff. Yep. This blew your mind. That song was too fast. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> oh, 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 please, please. It's all part of the service. You're cured. Dr. Silver. Dr. Scott Silver. That's me. What you have for me, Nurse Recast? It's a dog, Doctor. A dog, Doctor? A dog that's a proper doctor? No, it's a dog 
doctor. Oh, I, I knew that. I mean, it doesn't even have a stethoscope. I'm a doctor, and I have a stethoscope. What seems to be the problem, little man? Wolf, wolf, wolf. A free cast. I'd love to help. But I just don't speak dog. What was that? Internet crap! Well, it's not great at all. I mean, Dr. Scott Silver is a very handsome fellow, but apart from that, it's just a load of nonsense. Oh, Dr. Cowher turned that way. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not watching that next week. No way. No we are, way. We are, we are. No, no, no. We'll be far too busy working really hard in this office. Hello. Hello. You're with Ed and Oucho at the weekend. Do what we do. And today what we do is going through some of our best bits <laughs> from the afternoons on the CBBC channel. Like that time when we were in debt and we had to sell double glazing. Oh, that was a nightmare. <laughs> Truly an unforgettable day. <laughs> you don't remember, do you? Uh, no one else. Not one bit. <laughs> Have a look at this. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I was just wondering, could I just use some double glazing, please? Well, well, personally, I don't think the phone would fit down my throat. Uh, wouldn't fit up there either. <gasps> uh, thanks for your time, uh, though. Uh, oh, I feel easy. D, that I feel so What? What? That be me? That feel so no more. That feel that deadly feel so no more. That deadly feel so no more. Come down, come down, come down, come down. That's no way to sell anything to anyone. What? Eh? What if feel so no more, Key? What is double glazing? Wow. You've been trying to sell double glazing for the last hour and you've no idea what it is? D. Oh, dear. No. Basically, you've got normal windows, right? They have a single pane of glass. Then you've got double glazing. They've got two panes of glass. So the idea is... <laughs> Oi! I'll tell you about double glazing. It's very interesting. Ah. Right, so you've got two panes of glass. You've got the air in the middle. That's trapped in there. And then, so you've got warm air in your house, cold air outside, and warm air in your house... Warm air in your house is kind of... Shh. And welcome back to the CBBC office. With Splatter Little up next, we thought, as it's a bit of a sleepy Saturday, we'll take the opportunity to have a nice little lie-in. Hey, how about that? Yonks, why have you made me put my pyjamas back on? Well, I've got a bedtime story ready and everything. You, you uh -huh. want to get comfy, don't you? Uh, yeah, let's have a story, Yonks. Let's, let's have, have a story. A little bedtime story. <clears throat> Once upon a rhyme, back in the day, lived a serious night doll who kept it real. He commanded enough respect from the medieval massive. One day, Sir Rapalot was cruising through his hood in his tricked out big wheel. <laughs> but hey, no! You can't go that way! And who are you, sir? I'm the fire starter! The twisted fire starter! Right. It's just I simply must go this way, sir. My quest demands it. Well, look, if you want to get past us, you have to prove your worth. How, sir? How would I prove my worth to you? Hmm. Ah, can you, uh, can you fashion a giraffe out of two balloons? No. Ah. Oh. But I can rap, sir. Hey, well, that'll do. Hit it, boys. My merry minstrels. A lot. Yo, a medieval MC. This wood is my hood. Don't even think about this in me. I've got a castle where I chill with my mates. It's got gold turrets, my initials on the blinking gates. Yo, dragon, I'm liking your style. Your wings are pretty blinking, see you swimming for a million miles. They call you Firestar, fan in the flames. They call you Firestar, well, cause that is your name. I'm the Firestarter! Yes, you are! The Twisted Firestarter! Verily, sir! Oh, that would dead good. You can definitely pass now. Thank you, my scaly friend. Onward with the quest. Onward. What a lovely man. <sighs> Thanks to his wicked rhyming skills, Sir Rapalot and the Firestarter became well good mates and that and lived happily, rapidly ever after. The end. How about that, Dodge? It was... Dodge? Oh, he splat a lot. I'm the Firestarter. What? <laughs> hey, I feel us at all. 
You've got an idea. Wow! I told you, Sean the Sheep doesn't need double glaze. He lives in a field. No! Oh! sheep. No, 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 no! Fatina Sorobatina D! Cacti! Wow! Cacti! D! That's a brilliant idea! Da! You guys love the heat, don't wow! you? Yeah, you turn that thermostat up and the double wow! glaze. Oh, brilliant! It's a brilliant wow! idea! Yeah, yeah, no, get on the phone! Get on the wow! phone! Wow! Oh, you got some windows to sell, my boy. I'm going to do my Bravo. victory dance. Bravo. 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 How's it going? Bravo. 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 How's the hard sell game? Well, it's a final. It's a very strong thing to do. General Felix, wow. from the Caps Olympics, right? Yeah, How much double glazing did he buy? The film is sold on a tier of 14 tiers. 50 grand? Wow. What, for the Olympic Village? Yes. Yeah. Brilliant, OK. Right, wow. so that's 50 grand for him. Then there's that 7 wow. grand in search. It's your yeah. mate. Wow. Derek, so that makes wow. a, a total of... Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely nothing! Wow! Yes, you yeah. sell yeah. the girls! Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. paid all off, we don't know what you're no, 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 you're the daddy, my friend. No, you're the daddy. You're the daddy. You're the daddy. You're the daddy. Boy, wake up. It is obvious. Yes, it's over. Yes. Well, if you enjoyed watching that more than he obviously did, then don't forget we're on the CBBC channel every weekday from 3.30. Oh, yeah. Can I go back to sleep, girls? Yeah, you can go back to sleep. Jalapeno Tanju! <laughs> Welcome back to the CBBC office where today I'm banning all signs everywhere and anywhere. They're so smug always telling us what to do, eh? but if you were here earlier, you know the hacker wants to keep the humble sign, but eh, don't know where he is now. I wonder where the hacker's gone. Oh, look at that! Do not push. Mm, I wonder why. Um... I wonder what would happen. Best not try, because you never know, but uh, it's all tempting, isn't it? I've heard a good cheeky. Now, Moshe, don't do it! I can don't do it! But whatever you do, do not pre press, press the button! Ow! Oh, budges! Nah! I can't, I can't think where he is. Hacker. <laughs> Are you alright, mate? Yeah, fine. Yeah. You look a bit. You look guilty. No, no, no. Nothing. Nothing's happened. Nothing untoward. No. <laughs> Should we do some emails? Yeah. Really? Yeah, just do it. Yeah. Nothing you want to tell me? Or? Nothing. 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 Oh, okay. First email just, is there uh, from uh, oh. hmm? Lisa. Yeah, Lisa. You know, Lisa there. Band sign! Ah! The, what? That fed. Parents still get in the wrong direction and get lost. Even with signs telling them which way to go. Signs are pointless, isn't they, mate? Yeah. I didn't do it! What? Do what? What? No, what? no just read. Yep. Next one's from Amy. You're right, Amy. He says, I think we should ban signs because I once saw a sign that said, Mind the sheep, and had a picture of a squirrel on it. Squirrel. Squ the squirrel did it. I didn't touch anything. What you did, did what? Hmm? What you no, no, nothing. Uh... Oh, you've been weird today. Izzy, right? Izzy says, Dear Ian Hacker, I think you could ban signs because they're so bossy and kids should be able to do what they want. I've got an alibi! An alibi? What? Hmm? Email in cbbc at bbc.co.uk to what you lot think about signs. We're reading some more right after Prank Patrol. Uh, hello? I'll, I'll ask him. Hacker, do you know anything about a building falling down? Ah, uh, no. N nothing. Right, bye. <laughs>
mega fan Chris Johnson over here. Who Ed, this really is not necessary, okay? Chris, it's so yes, necessary. Excited, but I had to put him in a cage. So do you think this is cruel? It's a little cruel. Yeah. Look, I'll, I'll show you why I did it. I'll show you the no, 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 don't. These are the questions he wanted to ask you, okay. right? You don't have to answer any of these. Right. Question one. In 1971's Terror of the Autons, how did they get the telephone cable to come to life? Question two, that sonic screwdriver, how many settings does it have? Question three, my mum says I'm really handsome. Do you want to come to the cinema? Hey, 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 they're not finished, they're not finished, they're not finished. They're right, we're not progress. asking any of those. The draft isn't finished, leave me alone. I've got ah, much more sensible please. questions here. Oh, um, oh. Question one, my mum thinks I'm really handsome. Do you, sorry, no. <laughs> forget that. Just forget that. Um, how did you get the role? That's the question I want to know. Um, well, I just got a call asking me to audition for the role. Um, I went for my first audition and then I got a recall. And then I read with Matt and then a few hours later I got the part. A few hours? Yeah, a few hours later. I think I was the last girl to audition. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're probably just so tired they just thought she'll do. Get her <laughs> yeah. in. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How, uh, is it, am, I, am I right in thinking she's been in it before? Chris, he's the one to ask. Yes, sir, she has indeed in 2008's Fires of Pompeii. Ah, you see? Bravo! You're not lying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's a super the gig. <laughs> there you go. What? No! No! <laughs> they changed your makeup a bit for this. Yeah, new yeah, it's a little doing. different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How nervous were you on your first day of filming? Uh, it was it was quite nerve wracking. It was just really surreal because the TARDIS was there, um, and you know that's such an iconic image. Yeah. And there was loads of people that came down to see it. All staring. Um, at you. Yeah, yeah, all staring. So, but hopefully, nerve. yeah, yeah, it was. But uh, but hopefully that didn't show in the scene. Ah well, let's find out, shall we? Mm. This is Karen in the very first episode. <laughs> Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world She took the midnight train Going anywhere Just a city boy Born and raised in South Detroit He took the midnight train Yeah, whatever. And we can take it all over the world and everywhere we go, people will say, there's that twinkle toe duo that sing and dance and spread happiness all over the world. Ah, cut. You ruined it. 